morning, Eagles, and welcome to Season 14, Episode 46 of Eagle News. Today is Tuesday, November 17th, 2020, 10 days until Thanksgiving break. Happy National Homemade Bread Day. My name is Avery. And my name is Faith. Today's headlines. There is an apparel website with different highest prize spirit wear. Go to the link on Schoology to check it out. There are different sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, and masks. Make sure to take a look. Middle and high school students are asked to create a short video that defines or teaches any of the words in our Word of the Day collection. This is for the New York Times Vocabulary Video Challenge. Contest dates are November 10 to December 15. And check it out, check on Schoology for updates for more details. Remember, Eagles, you can watch all the videos we make on the Heights Eagle News YouTube channel. Search Heights Eagle News and check it out. There's a new content posted almost daily. We started a weekly podcast and we'd love for you to check it out. Go to the podcast apps on your phone or search Eagle Bee. <laughs> or find the podcast on the Google Podcasts page and search Eagles Bee to find the Eagle News podcast. Our first episode has a message from Mr. Gillum. An interview with Mrs. Osborne and a look at Mr. Meadows' awesome fashion. A visit with a seventh grade student, the movie of the week is back to feature and much, much more. Check it out. For Native American slash Indigenous People Month, I would like to talk about Wilma Mankiller. In 1985, Wilma Mankiller became the first female principal chief of the Cherokee Nation. She sought to improve the nation's health care, education system, and government. She decided not to re-election in 1995 due to ill health. After leaving office, Wilma remained an activist for Native American and women's rights until her death April 6, 2010 in Adair County, Oklahoma. For our first video, Leah and Megan went around Heights asking students what their favorite TV show is. Let's check it out! Asking students what their, their favorite TV shows were. My favorite TV show is Stranger Things. Uh, my favorite TV show is Friends. I'm currently enjoying Riverdale on Netflix. Outer Banks. My favorite TV show is a shout out to Mrs. Sagal. It is Team Umi Zumi. If you guys haven't watched it on Prime, look it up. I mean, I watch it all the time because I have a two and a four year old, but I actually really do love it. So Team Umi Zumi, best show ever. American Idol. My favorite TV show is Grey's Anatomy. I like watching Blue Jackets games on TV. My favorite TV show is The Office. Avatar Lost Airbender. Stranger Things. All American. My favorite TV show is Spongebob. My current favorite TV show is This Is Us, but I also like Grey's Anatomy, and I really like The Heart of Dixie. Spongebob. Hi, my favorite TV show is Bunked. My favorite TV show is Supergirl. Office. My favorite TV show is Good Luck Charlie. Outer Banks. Thanks, Eagles. Now back to the newsroom. My favorite show is Grey's Anatomy. What's your favorite show, Faith? My favorite show is Criminal Minds. Now let's ho head over to Cami in the Eagle News Weather Center for today's weather. Hey, Cami, what's your favorite TV show? Thanks, Faith. My favorite show is Grey's Anatomy. Today in Powell, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 41 degrees and a low of 24 degrees. There's also a slight chance of rain. It's almost time to start wearing your winter coats to the bus stop. Now let's head back to the newsroom with Avery and Faith to see Mr. Meta's best thing he found on the internet last night. Amy, let's go see what Mr. Meta's best thing on the internet is for today. Today's best thing on the internet is a very interesting school of fish. Check this out. I know I wouldn't want to mess with this school of fish. Faith, being in 8th grade, do you like to play and visit the park? Definitely. Next, let's check out Addie and Miley's The Park Slideshow. Hey Eagles, the other day Addie and I went to the park and had some fun. Roll it!
Thanks for watching. Bye, Eagles. Hey, Faith, what are you having for lunch today? I'm having a salad. Speaking of food, check out this Jumping Juju's Crunch cereal. That's so fun. I'm having a salad, too. Since she brought up food, let's see what Mrs. Carr is serving in the kitchen today. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today's menu is a chicken basket with mac and cheese, a little side of mac and cheese, cheeseburgers, and just pizza. Have a great day. Thanks for that great lunch report, Mrs. Carr. The food sounds great. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Nothing on today's class headlines. Don't forget to check out the newest episode of the Eagle News podcast on Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. Teachers, take a couple pictures of the great work in your classroom and send Mr. Meta what is going on to be noticed on the newscast. It's now time for <laughs> trivia! Let's head over to Cami and Trivia to see what today's question is. Thanks Avery and welcome to Trivia this morning here on Eagle News. Let's check out our daily winners and the number one answer from yesterday's trivia. <laughs> Congratulations to Monday's winners. Today's question is based on a survey of 100 men. Name something you've tried to fix and failed. Again, name something you've tried to fix and failed. Teachers, text Mr. Meta two answers to earn your points. Let's head back to the newsroom for today's sports report. On Sunday afternoon, the Browns and the Texans played their game with the score winding up 10 to 7 for the Browns. On Sunday night in the NFL, the Steelers and Bengals battled it out with the ending score being 36 to 10. Great job, Steelers! Congratulations to Dustin Johnson for winning the Masters on Sunday afternoon. And congratulations to the Old Tangy Girls soccer team and our very own Mrs. Mattingly, who is an assistant coach for the team. They ended up state runner-ups losing the game on Friday night. Before we get to our final segment, let's head live to the library where they'll tell us what's going on during that period. Hey, I'm Sam, live in the library, and we're going to be interviewing Miss Cantor about what is her favorite book. So since I started here, I have been trying to read a book a week, and currently my favorite book that is available right now with multiple copies is called Bird by Rita Murphy. It is under the scary section, but I would call it more confusing and suspenseful. It's about a girl that gets carried away by the wind and falls into a widow's yard and she decides to keep the girl as her own. And there's a lot of twists and turns and the language is really interesting. I also love it because you can read it in like an afternoon. It's really short. So that is my current favorite book that is available right now. The other one I wanted to bring up too is Elizabeth and Zenobia because it's about a ghost girl. I really like scary books. <laughs> Thank you. So the book is sort of like the poem for Killer Children. Basically, if she takes off her shoes, she's going to go flying. But anyway, some new books and exciting books that you can find in the library is at these black shelves. <laughs> the black shelves are always updated whenever they get new and exciting books and fun reads. So I am Samantha, and let's head back to the newsroom. Thank you for that report. It's so cool that we can talk to other people live during our broadcast. And for our final video segment, Cammie and I are going to be talking about NASA's giant croissant research. Hi Eagles, I'm Avery. And I'm Cammie. Today we're talking about NASA's new research that has shown us that our solar system sits in a gigantic magnetic bubble which happens to be in the shape of a croissant. Our solar system is made up of the sun, planets, asteroids, comets, and meteors. It's crazy that all of that fits in one bubble. It sure is! This bubble is considered a region around the sun and it's called a heliosphere. The constant blow of charged particles coming from the sun power it with, sol with power it with a solar wind. 
When this solar wind gets to a speed that's even faster than the Earth's orbit, it gets stopped by the wind of the other stars. This marks the bubble's outer boundary. For years, scientists thought that this heliosphere was shaped like a comet, round at the front with a tail trailing behind. Using data from its interstellar, interstellar Boundary Explorer mission and its New Horizons mission to Pluto, NASA discovered the true shape. Wowee, I love living in a croissant. Hey Avery, have you ever had a croissant? I actually haven't. Maybe you should take a bite out of our solar system's bubble. I'm Cammie. And I'm Avery. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Thank you for the great video, girls. I had no idea there's a huge croissant holding our solar system. Now let's head to Cammie for this day in history. On this day in 1558, Queen Mary I, the monarch of England and Ireland since 1553, died and was replaced by her 25-year-old half-sister Elizabeth. Mary, who was brought up as Catholic, enacted pro-Catholic legislation and made efforts to restore the Pope to supremacy in England. A Protestant rebellion ensued and Queen Mary imprisoned Elizabeth, a Protestant in the Tower of London, on suspicion of complicity. Now back to the Avery and Faith in the Newsroom. Thanks, Cammy. That's all we have for today's episode of Eagle News. But before we go, we want to share with you our quote of the day by Dolly Parton. If you want the rainbow, you got to put up with the rain. My name is Faith. My name is Avery. And my name is Cammy. Have, have a rock and roll day, Eagles. Bye! Bye.